Hey guys, it's me Will Patterson here again with a new video and this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this sort of wiggly line within Illustrator CC or CS6. Now this is a beginner's tutorial as well as an advanced tutorial and I'll help you uh, put in place different things that you, or different strategies of uses of the pen tool and the shape tool that you already have within Illustrator. Uh, you can use this within Illustrator CS6, CC or anything below with the pen tool and the ellipse tool. So it's a really cool um, sort of design. I'm not going to show how to create all the grunge effects to it. I'm going to show you the, just the raw design. So here we go. We're going to go into it. So I'm going to get out of this like so. Uh, bring that down. I'm going to go and create in Illustrator a new file. Uh, I'm going to go for a nice 500 by 500 to show you what. I, actually, no, wait. I'm going to go for 1280. 720 to make it so it's a wide screen. Awesome. So now I'm here, I've got my sort of artboard there. Um, what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to show you that um, you'll need an ellipse tool. So the, the way that I do that is that you press L and that will bring on the hotbar here the ellipse tool, which the hotkey is L as you can see in brackets on the right. And then I'm going to just create a little circle like so. Now I'm going to get rid of the fill by just coming down here and getting rid of that. And then I've got a little stroke there. I'm just going to bump up the stroke up to two so I can see it better. Amazing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, if you hover over it and sort of marquee it like this or select it, you'll see this sort of box around it. That's called the bounding box. So we need to get rid of that by pressing Command or Control, Shift and B. And then we get rid of that box. Um, so we can't scale it like we normally do. And to show it back again, we can go onto View. And then it will say show bounding box just here, which is shift command or control B. Awesome. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the pen tool up by pressing P or just clicking over here. And then I'm going to create a line um, just here to about here. I'm going to hold shift down. I've got my smart, if you see this green guide thing there, that is a smart guide um, that sort of hooks you into place of directly or vertically downwards. If you don't see that, just go into view. And then you go to Smart Guides or press Command or Control U to get it. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press uh, an anchor point around about here. And then I'm going to hold Shift down and press it down here. So we get a vertical line. Now we've only got a stroke on this because it's a pen tool. And we want to make sure we have no fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press V to get out of that. And I'm going to probably zoom in a little bit here just so I can show you. Like so. Right. So if we just select this, you'll see there's four blue anchor points here. I'm going to change the color of this layer so you guys can see it better. As you can see, there's four pink um, sort of squares on this. Now, these are the anchor points. Now, you can change these widths and stuff by selecting with the white arrow tool or by pressing A uh, and then selecting. This will change. You can change the handles of the paths and stuff and do all that. But what we're going to do is going to press V, select it, and we're going to grab one of these anchor points here. I'm making sure smart guides on and we're going to go up to here and we're going to put it in place like so now the reason why i've done that and done the bounding boxing is to make it easy so we can line up this anchor point here which is actually there you can't see it to this anchor point and it'll snap it in place which will give us more accuracy the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to press a and i'm going to go here down the bottom and marquee this section here to get this anchor point. Now I've highlighted this anchor point and I'm going to backspace it or delete it. Now that is what's giving us the first curve. But the problem is we have two paths. So what we need to do is press A again. And over here where the connection was made, you need to create a sort of a square marquee around it. Now I'll select both the anchor points. Next we need to go and to uh, join these two paths together by pressing Command or Control J. Uh, or you can go up here um, and onto objects or something around here and then press uh, press unite or join. So now we have the first part done. What we need to do again is create a new circle by pressing L and then uh, make a new circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uh, selection tool V and then press S, hold shift down and this will actually um, scale it for us without the bounding box. Awesome, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this by pressing control C. And then I'm just going to bring this down. So now we always have a copy. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. Press V, grab this anchor point down to this anchor point so it's connected. 
Then I'm going to make sure that I'm going to choose the top part of here because I want it to flow up. Then I'm going to backspace it, grab these two anchor points, join them together. Now that is how it's done like that. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to repeat the process all over. So how do I draw another um, sort of line like this uh, connecting it? Well, it's really easy. All you need to do is if I zoom in here, is press P. Sorry, my screen's gone a bit strange. Just press P to get your pen tool out. And then you just literally hover over this anchor point, press it, and come up by pressing Shift. And that'll give you a first line up. Now that anchor point there, this whole thing is one path. Then I'm going to press Command F to paste in front, grab this, and connect it here. And then I might want to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to press S to scale, which is over here, hold Shift, and then bring it out a bit. Like so. And I'm going to press V again to grab this anchor point, to attach it to that anchor point. Take the bottom part of this circle, delete it, and then join them together. And then press P to get another line, attach them. And then I'm going to press Command F again. And it's just a process that you repeat to create a core pattern. You can create some abstract lines. You might have seen this on my Facebook page. And then I'm going to do the exact same process again. So do this. Press P to get my pen tool up. And a sec. And then come further up. Command F, paste in front, grab this anchor point, bring it to this part. I'm going to scale it a bit. Press V to get it. Put that there. Press A, do that. And then so on, as you can see. But the problem is that it doesn't look anything like the one we did before. So what we need to do first is we need to go highlight this whole path. And then we need to press on the stroke part here. I'm going to just press on the arrow here. Go up to 60. Too much. So let's go down to 40. Let's go down to 30. Let's see what 30 looks like. So it looks great. Now that is how you do it. And you can create these cool little lines to come down and stuff. Or you can create tight faces. Uh, and that's how you do it. Right there. And you just carry on with this. And then at the end of it, you can expand it to create a better piece of work. Like so. And then that looks cool. And that is how it's done. Thank you so much for watching. It is awesome. Sorry I haven't been putting out any, very many videos. The uh, website Prophesy Apparel is about to receive a whole load of orders. Um, well, stock, shall I say. And with that, I hope you guys are ordering uh, clothes and stuff. If you don't know what it's about, then you can go and check out the video, uh, Change Someone's Life, and that will talk to you more about it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, do all that. We're nearly hitting 700, which is crazy because the last time I did a video, we just hit 600. So guys, thank you so much for everything. Support me on Patreon. It always helps out for the dollar that you give us. Um, I'll catch you in my next video and watch out on Twitter, Facebook and the pages and Prophesy's website uh, for more information on any clothes and hats and beanies and whatever is going to be posted on there. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.